हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर अरबी कुशोहा एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन द डिवीजन ऑफ वेटनरी क्लिनिकल कॉम्प्लेक्स एट एफ वी एस सी एंड ए एच स्कॉस जम्मू आर एस पुरा वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड इफ़ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल सो कैंडली सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आईकॉन फॉर द फर्दर नोटिफिकेशन टूडे वी हैव अ केस ऑफ द डिस्टल वन थर्ड डायफाइसल फ्रैक्चर ऑफ द लेफ्ट टिविया इन ए नॉन डिस्क्रिप डॉग सो हिस्ट्री ऑफ दिस डॉग इज दैट दैट डॉग had the hit injury yesterday uh, with the not weight bearing lameness on the left hind limb so we examine so the dog presented with the, this hanging limb and there is a deviation at the distal side so it is very easy to diagnose that there is a distal one third fracture so because of the hit injury so normally in hit injury uh, uh, since bending forces act so uh, it is expected that the fracture would be of transverse uh, fracture so we took the radiography and uh, we found that the fracture was transverse fracture so keeping in the view the transverse fracture and it is the close fracture so uh, we planned for the normo grade intramedullary pinning without opening at the fracture site means close reduction and normo grade pinning so if i succeed then it's okay otherwise i make a nick here and then the rest of the procedure is same as the normal intramedullary pinning of any tibial fracture so i have already uploaded one uh, video on the management of the tibial fracture by the close reduction and normal grade pinning so you can also watch that video so before going for the normal grade pinning of the tibia there is a certain landmarks this one is the proximal extremity of the this tibia and this is the distal extremity you could see here this is the hog joint this is the talus so this is the caudal border this is the cranial border of the tibia so you could see this one is the basically uh, patella this one is the medial tibial tuberosity and this is the anterior tibial tuberosity so this is the fracture site here so up to this level this is the proximal fracture fragment and from here to here this is the distal fracture fragment so for the tibial uh, fracture Uh, management uh, we place the animal with the affected limb downward this is the anterior tibial tuberosity this is the medial so this one is the basically site for the insertion of the pin so this is the tibial plateau so we insert from the medio cranial aspect of the tibial plateau so uh, before uh, inserting it is better to make a small nick here with the blade and then we also palpate the diaphysis of the proximal fracture fragment so this one is the proximal fracture fragment so you hold like this and then we pass the pin like this so direction is very very important this is the trocar end so we can put like this otherwise in case of the end threaded pin we have to only rotate in the one direction so this is the trocar end no uh, threads at the end of the this pin so you can insert like this by rotating one fro so now this pin is going very easily so we should tight the pin as much as possible otherwise sometime what happen there is only rotation of the this chuck other than the pin so so this is the transverse fracture and uh, with the overriding 
so just to reduce the this overriding or to make the fracture in alignment for reduction we should apply the traction and counter traction at the fracture so even it helps in the alignment because if you put like this so there will be exhaustion of the muscles so the muscle contraction gets reduced and it become relatively relaxed i think it still it is yes now it is about to come it still has not come it is about to come so we have passed the this 4.5 mm tokar and intramedullary pin into the proximal fracture fragments so the tip of the this tokar slightly pierced the skin so that is indicative of that it has passed into the whole length of the proximal fracture fragment so you could see the slight oozing of the this one so now the next step is reduce the this distal fragment by you can say pulling the by applying the traction at the distal fracture fragment and then we reduce and then pass the remaining intramedullary pin into the distal segment close reduction and uh, normal grade pinning is always better than the open reduction and even if you go for the open reduction so in tibia port it is always recommended that you go for the normal grade or anti grade intramedullary pinning never insert the pin from the fractured side that will retrograde otherwise what happen it could pierce the stifle joint so when we keep like this so there is a relaxation of the muscle so you can reduce the fracture fragment even by uh, doing the toggling so i hope uh, the distal fracture fragment is in alignment so with a little bit uh, manipulation and a struggle we somehow able to reduce the fracture fragment closely and then now we have inserted the this been in the distal segment also but it will only confirm by the radiography so we will go for the radiography and then we will come back soon and then after that we cut the extra portion and pass the remaining one so we have just taken the x ray so from the two orthogonal view it's revealed that the pin has passed into the in intramedullary cavity of the distal fracture fragment although the pin occupy the caudal cortex of the distal fracture fragment and with a slight deviation posteriorly but since we have performed the uh, uh, this uh, immobilization by the close reduction so such type of deviation is expected and even in such type of uh, alignment or reduction the definitely bone will heal better if you compare with the open reduction with perfect alignment so uh, we leave as such and the next procedure uh, we slightly withdraw the one at two mm pin outside and then cut from the close here and then the remaining will hit by the hammer so that it will go inside the intramedullary cavity since animal is young so definitely if uh, after two or three months the length of the bone would uh, increases so it is very difficult to remove and it is and it is more over stray animal so there may be chance that animal after recovery may not we can say come again at the clinic for the removal of the intramedullary pin so we will try to cut at close as to the tibial plate so now we have just cut the extra portion of the pin 
so now you could see so nothing is outside the this tbl play to so we'll apply the one stitch here and then we go for the rubber zone bandaging so thank you for watching this video and if you like this video so kindly share with your friends and uh, don't forget to hit the bell icon for the further notification if you have not subscribed the channel yet.